view of direct line insurance, I'm sure a lot of them are the same. I got hit by a crash for cash scammer jittering around in a McDonald's drive through um, I actually reported her to um, Action Fraud, and uh, that was an interesting website. Came up with um, her car was known and wanted a driver description, and uh, it stated that 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 car had been reported twice already. Ha! And police thought I was delusional when I reported her as a crash for cash scammer. Now, uh, this is pretty impossible to avoid in a, um, she kept jerking her car forward here and we're in a McDonald's drive through and she waited for me to be right in front of her and then drove straight into me. Of course, she'd been prepped. She couldn't drive very fast because um, it's a natural tendency to stop on your brakes. But um, and she only just scuffed my car, but then she claimed uh, front wing damage, driver door damage and bumper damage. Um, I sent photographs to um, Direct Line and um, the damage on my vehicle. Damage again with a straight edge against it to show that there's no dent. Um, Direct Line went on to lose my document uh, description and this drawing. Um, a police thought as delusional letter from um, Direct Line. Ebit. They have no explanation as to why the documents I sent them that support um, uh, a no claim on my behalf and um, an instruction to Direct Line to defend my case because it's clearly a crash for cash scam and they simply lost those documents. That is um, with a computerised system. Direct Line are heavily computerised. Um, it's impossible to lose documents. So what this represents is an upsell policy. Um, they want to basically review the claim, which is not a claim, it's an incident report, um, with no defence on my part. Yeah, right, OK. I'm actually, I had four cars insured with Direct Line, landlord insurance and public liability. I now have no insurance with Direct Line at all. I actually use um, cover at the moment and um, it's cheaper. <laughs>